We're in downtown Millville in southern New Jersey. This is Greenwood Memorial Park, and tucked away at the southwest corner is the grave of second-class passenger Percy Thomas Oxenham. Percy is pretty special, as he's one of the few second-class male passengers to have survived, being from a demographic that had one of the lowest survival rates on the ship. Percy was 22 years old in 1912, and was moving from England to the United States, heading for his brother, who lived in New Jersey. He boarded in Southampton, traveling with a family friend named Walter Harris. How he experienced Titanic's collision with the iceberg is a bit of a gray area. He gave two different accounts of the sinking, which kind of contradict each other. The first one he gave right after the sinking back in 1912, he said that when the ship hit the iceberg, he was thrown out of bed. His friend was thrown out of bed as well. They went to investigate, went up on deck. The second one, which he gave later in life, in the 1950s or 40s, I believe, he said they weren't thrown out of bed. All he noticed was the engine stopped. And that silence is what kept him awake. He stayed awake in bed, concerned about the silence from the engines, and then decided to go out and investigate with his friend. I'm inclined to believe the latter, because he would have been quartered near the engines, and very few other passengers said that they were thrown out of bed. In fact, most of them described the collision with the iceberg as subtle, hardly even noticeable. He went out to investigate, he went up on deck with his friend, and there wasn't too much concern. In fact, he said a lot of the passengers and others on deck were joking about it, playing it off as an inconvenience, and then they continued on betting about what time they'll arrive in New York. In one of his testimonies, he says that he helped passengers get their life belts on and was suddenly asked by a crewman if he can handle an oar. When he said yes, he was put right into the lifeboat. Lifeboat number 13, launched from the starboard side around a quarter past 1 a.m. In another testimony, he claimed that he was on the ship until near the very end, having leapt overboard and climbing onto overturned collapsible B. More than likely, though, he was on lifeboat 13. Percy recalled watching the Titanic split apart, specifically remembering seeing the two sections of the ship drifting away from each other before upending and slowly going under. Percy survived the sinking, but his friend Walter Harris did not. He went on to New Jersey and met up with his brother, and in 1916 met a woman named Elsie Henny and married her. They moved to southern New Jersey, where Percy got a job in the Dorchester shipyard. He gave an interview in 1953, explaining that he did not like the film Titanic with Barbara Stanwyck and Clifton Webb, saying that it was too inaccurate. A year later, Percy died on April 8, 1954, and his widow died ten years later. Thanks for joining us as we checked out this grave here in southern New Jersey. And do be sure to support the Titanic International Society. Consider joining and getting a membership. They do some great stuff about preserving the legacy of the Titanic. And if you're so interested, please check out my YouTube channel, Part-Time Explorer. Thank you.